Hello everyone, Fanta here, you're watching Fantavision, and today we're discussing Subway. Yeah, Subway, which is a sandwich store that for some reason has had quite the history over the years. And let's dive into just a little bit of that before we dive into today's story, because it's something I feel like you need to hear. So back in 2013, we're not going to go all the way back to when Subway started, but back in 2013, there was a class action lawsuit that alleged that their 12-inch foot-long subways were actually only 11 inches. Now, of course, they just threw this out because it's ridiculous. It's only an inch difference, and it's bread. It's not like they're going to measure every single piece of bread, so it's an exact foot long. But I digress. It was a legal battle. In 2015, I think you remember Jared. I don't really need to say anything else on that topic, but let's just say... Whenever you think of Subway and you think of their footlongs, you think of Jared in prison. Over the years, Subway has been in constant legal battles with different owners, little franchise owners, because they allegedly have been trying to push them out through an arbitrary inspection process as well as regional structuring. Not too long ago, Subway had to defend its bread in Ireland because their Supreme Court ruled, I guess it was some sort of tax code thing that was going on. They ruled that their bread was not a staple bread. There's too much sugar in the bread to be actually called bread in Ireland. So I don't, I don't know if most bread in America is like that. I feel like it probably is. I've heard constantly from people that there's too much sugar in our bread because we Americans just love sugar. Who knows how that will play out, but I think that's still ongoing. Another ongoing thing is what we're talking about today. The topic is Subway's tuna. Now, you don't normally want to hear that I'm going to be talking about something you might have eaten. I know a lot of you out there might have had Subway's tuna at some point. Well, I have some bad news for you. Starting January of this year, there's been a lawsuit alleging that Subway's tuna does not contain any tuna or any fish of any kind. That's right. Their tuna is not tuna. Now, this didn't really cite how they knew it wasn't tuna. I think they, they mentioned briefly that they had it tested and there was no tuna. Well, recently, the New York Times decided to investigate this whole thing on their own. They sent 60 inches of Subway's tuna. Now, I don't know how they ordered 60 inches of tuna. I guess they just ordered a bunch of sandwiches and they put it in a frozen container. They sent it off to a lab. They had it tested, and the lab found that there was, in fact, no tuna DNA. So this is a little bit alarming, the fact that another lab has determined that there was no tuna DNA, and I believe they also came to the same conclusion that they couldn't really find any fish DNA at all. However, let's take a look at the quote from the lab and find out why this might have happened. One. It's so heavily processed that whatever we could pull out, we couldn't make an identification. Or, we got some and there's just nothing there, that's tuna. Right away, it's so heavily processed that it's difficult for them to test in the first place. Or there's just no tuna. I mean, neither of these things are good. The fact that it's so heavily processed that you can't figure out whether you've gotten any of that tuna is ridiculous. However, experts told the New York Times that because when you cook tuna, it breaks down the protein, that could make it more difficult to tell whether or not it's tuna. Now, you might be thinking, well, Fanta, you've just debunked your whole video. This has completely debunked everything. Well, first of all, who are these experts? It doesn't say who the experts are. It just said experts told. I hate that. Why is it just some unnamed variable of experts. Who are these experts? What are the experts of? What if they're bird experts? I don't understand what they're experts of. It's very vague and annoying. Even if these are tuna fish DNA experts, and they're telling us that when you cook tuna, it breaks down its protein so much that you can't test whether or not it's even a fish, what does that say about all of our food? Now, let's quickly... Take a step back. What am I saying here? I'm saying that if you cook animal meat and it breaks down the protein to the point that you can't tell what kind of meat that is anymore, that didn't debunk this story. 
that has made every single food substance that we eat, unless we go out and kill it ourselves, we don't know what the hell that is. I mean, that's kind of terrifying. That's way worse than Subway just not having tuna or fish in their tuna. First of all, who thought that their tuna looked good in the first place? They use an ice cream scooper to put it on the sandwich. That's disgusting. I don't want an ice cream scooper anywhere near my sandwich. Second of all, that's just one specific thing if that's what it's affecting. If it's just Subway's tuna that we don't know what it is, okay. I can safely avoid that. I didn't want it in the first place. And I can tell other people, you know, just avoid that tuna. But everything else we know because we can test its DNA. But if you cook something and all of a sudden you don't know what it is anymore and that's just across the board. Hell, let's just say fish. If you want to narrow it down just to fish, how do we ever know what kind of fish we're getting from any of these restaurants? They're just telling us this is the fish and we just kind of believe them. And... We're already being told this is the type of fish and I'm finding out that they can call it that type of fish But there's like a billion different species in that type of fish and they can call it that Even if it's like not specifically that there's all these weird loopholes and rules when it comes to food Especially fish classification. I know this is a bit like we're getting a little bit into the weeds here But it's kind of important when we're looking at something like what the hell are we eating? If we can't determine what we're eating because cooking breaks down the DNA, who's to say that the fish fillet at McDonald's is actually fish? Because we can't tell because it's been cooked, so the DNA has been broken down, and we can't tell what the hell's in it. I'm really hoping <laughs> that these so-called experts are just saying things. They're just saying, hey, well, this is a possibility. This isn't like across the board. This is only specifically tuna, but even then that's still problematic. That means whenever we're eating tuna, we have no idea if it's actually tuna, if it's been cooked. If you're eating raw tuna at a sushi place, you should be fine because you can test that because it hasn't been cooked. But anywhere else, if it's cooked tuna in a can, what's in there? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I mean, what, <laughs> what can you trust anymore when we're constantly finding out weird stuff? about what we've been eating. Oh my god. It's uh, it's a wacky world out there, and the more you learn about it, the more horrified you get. So, there you go. There's no real conclusion on that. Unfortunately, that's where the story ends. The story ends in complete uncertainty, just as most stories do in real life. We're still gonna ha have this legal battle going on in the background. Who knows if we'll ever hear about this again. You know, we're only gonna hear about it if the news deems it worthy. So, uh, hopefully they deem it worthy in the future. I'm hoping that Subway is in the right, and I'm hoping that these labs they're sending to are just incompetent, because I'd rather not worry about what the hell I'm eating all the time, but... Ah, uh, whatever. I guess I'll just, uh, just keep living how I've been living. There's really nothing I can do when most of the food we get is highly processed and corporatized. I don't live on a farm, I don't live near a farm. Not really much I can do at this point, and I, uh, I'm not going vegetarian. Well, comment down below what you guys think of this whole situation. If you're worried about eating Subway tuna, or just tuna ever again, if it's even tuna that we've been eating. Like the video if you guys liked it, subscribe for more content, and as always, have a fantastic day. See you, everybody.